What is up everyone? I'm going to make a video explaining how I do hydroponic sunflower microgreens. So this is day one. Um, I've measured out the amount of seeds I want to use dry. I don't know what that is. Um, and I am going to soak them for 24 hours. So just fill this up, let them soak, and then we will spread them onto the tray. It has been about 24 hours since I soaked these seeds. You can see how dark the water has gotten. Some of them, let's try to get it. Some of them have split, um, so I am going to move them to their grow location. And what I got for grow, to grow these in is, I made this uh, tray so that's just like a, on the bottom, uh, a cooling rack. And the top is this mesh that I got. Um, I trimmed it to size and bent the edges so it just fits into this um, little tray perfectly. And what I do to grow these is I fill it with water right up to, its, to where it's just touching the bottom of this. All right, I think I got this at the proper level. If I shake it around, you can kind of see the water is just below. And now what I do to grow these is for the first couple days, I cover them with this styrofoam block and then I put a lot of weight on them. The idea is um, the stems get thicker and the roots get stronger if they are trying to, if they're stressed and trying to force their way around an obstacle. So the name of the game for microgreens is stress them just to the brink of death and they will taste better. At least that's the theory. So I'll show you what my setup looks like uh, in a second. All right, this is what I got. I'm gonna leave them in the dark for a couple of days um, with all of this weight on them and you will see that they will totally be able to lift all of that, uh, no problem. So this whole thing will rise up as they're growing. Um, I will update you daily to show you the progress, so we'll check on them in about 24 hours. It's been 24 hours since the last clip and I wanted to give an update on the hydroponic microgreens. So, not much different. Um, a lot of them have split. A few tap roots have started. Let's see if anything's poking up the bottom yet. And you can see in the back there maybe one or two tap roots. Um, but yeah, that's what we're looking at now. Um, I will update you guys in 24 hours. All right, this is what we're looking at. Let's uh, zoom in here, you can see. You can see those fine little root hairs on the tap roots. It's not mold, some people think that that is mold. But it's just how the roots grow. Um, now I could um, try to aim all the tap roots down, but usually I just let nature figure it out. Uh, and it almost always, most all of them grow downwards. Let's see if we can see what's going on under here. Yeah. So, uh, looking good. I will update you all in 24 hours. All right, here we go. Look at these two guys. Embedding themselves into the styrofoam. Looking pretty good. All right, it's starting to get a good amount of growth here. A 
lots of tap roots drinking up that water. Hey guys, this is what we're looking at today. You can see they have started to lift up the styrofoam weight. Put this guy back in. Starting to look okay. So I'm going to give them a nice, nice spritz. Okay. Looking pretty good. Alright, this is what we're looking at. I think I'm going to leave them in the dark for one more day and then go ahead and put them out by the window and get them some sunlight. And then basically one day in the sunlight and they will be ready to eat. Um, but you can leave them out there for a couple days. They can stay fresh, alive, and healthy um, while you're eating what you want. So I will show you guys tomorrow when I move them into the sun. All right, so I put these guys in their final location. They'll be here for about 24 hours and they'll green up really quick. All right, this is what they look like after some time in the sun. So basically at this point, they are ready to harvest and eat. And you could probably leave them in here for a few more days harvesting them as you're eating them. So, like I said, this is probably not the most efficient way because you can see definitely some of the seeds didn't sprout and some did and kind of twisted all along the bottom. But I think it's fun um, and simple. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers.